Hello and welcome to the Game Dev Outpost. In this video, we'll be talking about visual shaders and a mission. The best way to think of a mission is something like neon signs or a light bulb, basically anything that's acting as light. So the mission, this can take in a constant scalar, this can take in a constant color, and this can also take in textures. With a scalar, it's only gonna show black to white, and with a color, you'll have the full range available to you. Now with this setup, you'll notice that I have a directional light in the scene, and because of that, it's taking some direct lighting and it's blowing out some of that emission. If you wanna control the intensity of your emission, you can add a multiply, but it's notable that you actually want a vector multiply. If you use a scalar multiply with color, you plug this in, you're only gonna get zero to one black and white values. Now the next thing you'll notice is if you go above one while multiplying this, it won't change anything. But that doesn't mean we can't go above one. We just need to add some other post-process effects. Now this is definitely a little ahead of itself and we will cover it in another video. But what we want to do is we want to go into the scene and we want to add a child node and we want to search for world environment. And in the world environment, you'll see it says environment, it'll say empty, we wanna make new environment. And then from here, we can edit that environment. Now there are a bunch of options under here, but what we're looking for is glow. And then in glow, we wanna enable this. And now, if we go above one, we'll get some results. Now in the case of textures, compared to everything else, this is a little bit more of a mix. So I have this emissive texture in here, and by default, I have this imported with sRGB turned on because originally this is meant for a color value. If I plug this straight in, you'll see that it works. Maybe not exactly on this model, but it works. You can also import black and white masks. So I'm gonna decompose this. And I'm just gonna use one of these channels. I'm gonna multiply this with a vector multiply. by a color constant. And now instead of having just a set color, I can have a mask that area for color emission. So there's many different ways to play with emission. All right guys, that should cover visual shaders and emission. If you thought this video was useful and it helped, please let me know by commenting down below and liking the video. Thanks guys.